Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show, a show where we tour some of the most exclusive and in-demand homes around South Africa. Today we are once again back in Copperleaf Estate and we're touring a home behind me that has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms and is on the market for 8,950,000 Rand. So without further ado, let's take a look at what's in store for us inside. Now coming through an entryway filled with beautiful upright wooden sleepers, we find ourselves in an entry hall that is dominated by tall ceilings, stunning chandeliers and Lindy, what are you doing here? I need to cleanse the house. Cleanse it. We to work together. The, the house might need some cleansing when we're done for it, but let's talk about this entry hall then. We've got nearly floor to ceiling windows of both left and the right hand side, beautiful staircase on my right hand side. Now Lindy, tell me about the staircase here. Tell me about the wood. The wood came straight from the roof here and the tall. Has it been cleansed? It's been cleansed, it's been washed, it's been polished, it's been varnished. We've done everything we could possibly do to wood. Waiting for a new owner. But that does cover this entry hall. Other than the huge amount of space and beautiful wood, there's a set of stairs right here that leads down into the full-on living areas, a place where you're spending most of your time and I think it's time that we tour that. Okay, now coming down these stairs, leaving poor Lindy behind there to cleanse the house, we find ourselves in the living areas. On my right hand side is your dining room area, this would be your central gallery and on my left, uh, Lindy, hello again. You, you can definitely get the Netflix logins. I mean, if you're going to watch Netflix anywhere in this home, it might as well be uh, a really cushy and comfortable living area. How comfortable are you, Lynn? Extremely. I am Extremely chilling comfortable. already and the is off. And if she's chilling, we've got a fireplace that dominates the right-hand side in front of me. Beautiful illuminated wall unit, all built in. The TV's front and center, and I think this remote might be the wrong way around. Oh, yeah. uh, so much space for your couches, for your carpets, for your beautiful flooring and above me if we're going to have a killer movie night with that remote pointed the right way you've got built-in speakers not only in this area but throughout the home and on that note it's time for us to explore the rest of the home right now we're in the gallery places for you to display your art there's some greenery hanging around you and a beautiful little chair there for you to enjoy the incredible views of the garden but now we are in my favorite place of every home and that is the area where the food is made. This is an incredibly spacious dining room area. We've got a six-seater table sitting here very comfortably and above me, probably my favorite feature of this home and that is these exposed raw wood sleepers embedded in the ceiling. Plenty of down lighting as well as those speakers as I've mentioned and then stunning wood floor right over here. Behind me, the kitchen area, let's take a look. And then it is the kitchen, my favorite, favorite feature of every home. Now this kitchen is very special in that a lot of the design elements in this home continue through. We've got those beautiful raw wood rafters above us and then we've got this stunning varnished center island 
and Farmer style wood, but then Farmer style basin as well. Two faucets peeking out of it, one of them depositing you clean filtered water. On my right hand side, what kitchen, what culinary experience is complete without a six top gas burner all year, all sparkling, absolutely love it. So if you're a chef or an aspiring chef, if you love cooking, this home is for you. The backsplash is quartz. We've got this stainless steel extractor fan. And then just up there, we've got some windows letting in a lot of natural light, some display cabinets, space for your microwave, and then also a scullery area just around the back with plenty of space for any other appliances you might need. Then talking about space in this kitchen specifically, we've got all this under counter storage. And over here, a huge closet for all of your dry goods. Time to see the dogs. So that's what's in that closet more than I think a lot of us were expecting. And we've only spoken about the living areas of the home. We've still got a little cutaway to talk about what's in the back side of the kitchen area. And then it's time to head over this way to your bedrooms, your offices, and that pajama lounge. Now, just offset of the kitchen, you'll find a scullery area with all the space for your appliances. This scullery area, what makes it so special for me is it has a sliding glass window leading out to your outside patio. So you can place or at least trade things back and forth if you are entertaining people outside. You've got space there for another fridge as well as a back door area that leads outside to the back of the home. And then coming out of that area, we've got to walk through some beautiful archways. These archways have exposed face brick, so dust is not an issue, but it really does sit with the theme of the home. And something else that sits with the theme of this home is this stunning wrought iron gate that open up into your very own private wine cellar. We must be old enough to drink the car. And now we get to travel through another beautiful open face brick archway to find ourselves in the wing of the home that contains two bedrooms. One bedroom has an ensuite bathroom. The other one is serviced by a guest bathroom located to my left. Let's take a look at that and then let's head off to the two bedrooms. Your guest bathroom has a single vanity, plenty of under counter storage, toilet located on your right hand side, a beautiful flooring and then lots of natural light. And now coming down this hallway, we've got two wide open doors that lead out to an outside courtyard. Now this courtyard beautifully situated to be around the bedrooms where you'd want to see some greenery most. Lots of space here, but luscious vegetation, stunning headstone walls, and really just so much silence and peace. But this really does service what these bedrooms are purposed for right now, and that is office space. So silence as we go into this office. Coming down the passage, you'll find on your right hand side your first office. Now, this is definitely more of an office than a bedroom. You've got built-in shelving, however, no cupboards. You can convert it to a bedroom, but I love the fact that you've got a home with a designated office space, specifically since working from home has become such a big thing. Another nice thing about this office specifically is you've got a glass door leading out onto your back patio. And when you are chased out of your office, you can leave through this glass door into your back patio. And what does 8,950,000 rand get you? Well, this incredible garden. And when we talk about this garden, there's a couple of things I really feel like I need to mention. One is there's plenty of space on both sides of this patio for you to enjoy whatever outdoor activities you might want. We've got a heated pool, but also within this home specifically in Copper Leaf Estate, you've got views not only of the fairway, but also of the lakeside, which is absolutely incredible to look at regardless of the time of day. As you can see over there, it is set up with a gas bry. And over here, we've got plenty of other seating for you to entertain everyone and anyone regardless of how many guests are visiting the dining room table and a full-on outdoor sink including prep sink you've got an entertainer's dream right at your fingertips medium rare i'd love medium rare and i'd also love it to be in copper leaf yeah this is what we're eating, good. We're eating real good <laughs> carpet for supper and now with the outside dining area covered, it's time to head on upstairs and see what the second floor of this home has to offer. Back where we started, here is that stunning wood staircase again adorned with wrought iron. I love these 
filigree areas. We've got these floor to ceiling windows and reaching the top, we've got our pajama lounge. This is fully decked out with comfortable couches in the center, space for a coffee table. And then on both my left and right side, including in front of me, we've got bedrooms. So we're gonna start right over here and we're gonna work our way on the right to the last bedroom. Walking into your first bedroom upstairs, immediately you'll notice that this is built for comfort. Cushy carpets, stunning dark wallpapers, plenty of mahogany cupboard space, and then your very own ensuite bathroom. But also talking about what belongs to just you, you've got your very own private balcony looking down onto that heated pool and stunning fairway. When we talk about the bathroom itself, you've got a walk-in shower, a massive single vanity, and that is flanked by another massive mirror. Your bathtub sits off to the left, and this one looks down onto that private courtyard by your studies. And last but not least, walking out of this room, you find yourself smack bang back into that comfortable pajama lounge. Walking to the next bedroom, we find not only comfort, but also the characterization of really nice lighting. We've got two hanging chandeliers, again, that beautiful warm gray paint, and then a full-on wall looking out onto a stunning garden, and once again, that lake and fairway. This bedroom, like every other in the house, does have plenty of cupboard space with that dark mahogany, carpeted floors, ensuite bathroom, you've got your single walk-in shower, massive mirror, single vanity, under counter storage, and then, of course, your toilet. But that means we are done with the bedrooms and now it is time to come through these double doors into the creme de la creme, the master suite of this incredible home. We walk onto plush carpets, bright light cascading through the sliding glass door that leads out onto your very own beautiful patio. That patio again has that wrought iron filigree as a banister. You look down onto not only the heated pool, but the rest of the fairways with all that stunning greenery. In the room itself, plenty of space. As you can see, king bed with a couch fits perfectly. And I love these two dangling glass chandeliers also acting as night lights. Around this corner, we find a walk-in closet with so much space for not only all of your suits, but all of your dressing gowns, beautiful shoes, fancy neckties, and anything else you might want to throw into that walk-in closet. And right over here is your ensuite master bathroom. There's a couple of really cool features we're going to talk about here. Double vanities, one on the left and on the right with mirrors going almost wall to wall. We've got this incredible self-standing floating, floating bathtub reminiscent of a pebble, but again, it does keep those same design elements of it looking rustic, looking homegrown, and it does fit with the rest of the house. Stunning lighting above, and then for privacy purposes, beyond this door, you find your toilet as well as a bidet. And then my favorite feature of this bathroom and possibly any bathroom we've ever toured is this stunning walk-in shower, fully enclosed, shower heads on both sides. Lindy, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just organizing your bridal shower because it's going to be my closest space. Well, if the 30 don't fit in here, then the 30 will definitely fit outside because outside we've got, once again, a outdoor shower. So in the summer, you're more than welcome to sit here and get your scrub on. And in the winter, you can walk right back in and absolutely love the space here. And now let me take a quick walk back outside onto this stunning patio. Stand next to this wrought iron balustrade. Look out to this incredible golf estate and just be thankful to tour another incredible home right here in Copper Leaf Golf Estate. So let's then talk about how you could be the next owner of this home. And what I'd like you to do is contact Zarina from Baker's Real Estate. That she is the agent responsible for this home and she can organize you a viewing whenever and wherever you need it. And don't hesitate because for 8,950,000 rent, this four bedroom, four and a half bathroom home is an absolute steal. But before I go, let me let you know that you can visit this property and more on Private Property's website. It is privateproperty.co.za. We have every single listing from every single agent across the country. But for myself, Chad Rivera, from the team at Private Property and from everyone that makes this show possible, thank you so much for tuning in once again and stick with us because this is going to be the first of many new episodes. Thank you and goodbye.